Good morning. It is Monday the 10th of June, so it is the start of the Ghibliathon. It is about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. That's why I'm in the car and Will is still asleep, so I don't want to wake him up. I'm trying to be nice. But saying that, it is really cold in this car, so I need to stop going soon. Um, I've already read a little bit of Howl's Moving Castle, um, so I'm going to crack on with that today. Um, I'm not going to be able to read it for a couple of hours now, I've got to go to work and do the food shopping so by the time I get back I can then have a good read but my goal is to get that completely read today which should be interesting. I wanted to do a big welcome to the vlog but I'm absolutely freezing, I need to get going so this is all you're getting. <laughs> Hello, so it is ten to quarter to four on Monday, I've only just got home, it's taken me nearly two hours to get home so it's a half hour drive then i had to go and grab some food and then i was stuck in the post office for forever seriously it felt like um so i've only just got home and been able to pick up how's moving castle when i say pick up i mean physically pick up i haven't turned a page yet um but i am going to get on to that soon i am not doing anything tonight apart from reading so i should be able to get this smashed um i have got some some books that have just arrived that were sort of in my last reading vlog but they are different books so I made a book order and it all went a bit wrong the books I received were not okay quality for what I paid for so I had a bit of a moan and I've got some more books now so just in case you didn't watch my oh god that's got tangled my last vlog which you should do just to say um we have we'll always have summer by Jenny Han. We have Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And we have Spell Slinger, Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell. I still don't like fantasy, but uh, Jade absolutely loves this book. And they've given me, from what arrived, I will show you actually, in case you didn't watch it, what arrived the first time. I'm trying to dodge the views of washing everywhere and things not being put away. Um, this is the book I've now got. Beautiful, brand new condition this is what i received last time <laughs> so was not too impressed lady midnight is still a um paperback even though i paid for a hardback they said they literally don't have a hardback in their warehouse and they don't know when they did so never mind with that we'll take the paperback because it is an insanely good quality book but yeah so now i'm gonna sit on my ass for a bit have a cup of tea, borrow chocolate, and uh, get reading. It's still Monday, and to be honest, I'm just really struggling. So, I've read, I can't even see, uh, how many have I read? 52 pages, and that's it. And I just can't be bothered. And I think it's just the mentality that I'm in right now, and I just don't even want to pick up the book. I'm going to. I think I'm going to force myself to get at least halfway before I'm, I let myself go to sleep. And that's obviously if I don't get really into it, but I'm just not really bothered. <laughs> All right then, this is another rainy morning in the car. Jesus, it's cold. <laughs> um, so I've just had a trip to the post office to send out some books that some lovely people bought from me. Um, pretty much just from like past, actually no, they've all been from past unhauls. They've been sat around and yeah, I sold like, how many? 12 books yesterday? It was insane. Um, but yeah, so just posted all those. Now I better head to work. Um, I found, I don't like doing this because there is an audiobook of Howl's Moving Castle on YouTube. And the Ghibliathon Twitter retweeted it, so I'm going to say it's okay because normally I don't like thinking like, where is anyone not being paid for this, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I know it sounds stupid, but... If I'd recorded an audiobook and it ended up on YouTube, I'd be a bit peed, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to listen to that on my way up, um, which I'm going to stream YouTube through my phone and that the amount of data <laughs> is already scaring me. But it's fine. So I've got a good half hour drive from here. So that's always fun, but it should mean that I get a fair bit of audiobook read. The only problem is you can't obviously speed the YouTube video up. Um, so it's on like the slowest. I normally only have it on 1.25, 1.5 anyway, but it's very, very slow. Okay, right. 
I do need to get driving though and I just feel like a bit ooh today um so don't particularly want to go to work especially in this horrible weather hello so it is still Monday um I've made no it's not it's Tuesday I'm actually losing it but I have made the decision to start reading Up Close and Personal by Leonie Fox this is my book for The Wind Rises and Adult Romance um, I am really enjoying How's Moving Castle, but I'm finding that um, I can listen to a good hour of the audiobook just while I'm driving. So it'd be silly to finish that and then lose an hour of reading time every day. So I'm sticking to that as my audiobook. If I don't finish it while driving, I still have the physical book to pick up. So yeah, I'm getting started on my adult romance. This looks like it's going to be a pretty thing to knock out tonight, to be honest. Hello, it is Wednesday morning. Um, it's about 22 9. I've just pulled up at the office. I am absolutely knackered, like I can't even keep my eyes open. Um, not really many reading updates for you. It's not going as well as I'd hoped. I'm four hours into the audiobook for Howl's Moving Castle, so I think I'm just under halfway. Um, I wanted to listen to more of it this morning, but it's my granddad's birthday, so I had to give him a call and, and things like that. But um, this is really turning into a vlog of me sitting in my car outside my office. <laughs> um, up close and personal, I am like 50 pages through, if that. But today I'm really going to push it and not go into the office until I absolutely have to. So, oh, sorry. So I'm going to sit here and read a little bit more before I do anything. Hello. So it is half four on Wednesday. And I was going to have a night in of reading tonight, but my best mate just called and said, what are you doing? And they're the ones that live in the apartment building. I'm just going to pan you round. See that massive building? That's where they live. <laughs> so it's not exactly far. But um, yeah, she's invited me round. Um, so I'm not going to get much reading done this evening. Whether I stay up late and get some read later, I don't know. But I've just got up to page 120 of up close and personal um so you know it's a, a fair chunk um and it is just a crappy chiclet really not really enjoying it um but it fills the prompt so i'm going to carry on going and then how's moving castle i did just i was cooking when she asked me to come around so i just made this massive pasta thing and i've just got up to chapter 14 of the audiobook so that is page 186. So fair chunk through that as well. I reckon I can get that done in the next couple of days driving to work. And then maybe I'll stay up late tonight and try and finish this just so I have a book finished. Because I'm getting into like the danger zone now. I need to keep reading. But yeah, so I'm very grateful to be asked to go around to my friends. But at the same time, it's a ghibli -thon. I'm supposed to be reading. Morning. Thursday morning here. Still not finished any books. So I am actually not letting myself out of the car when I get home today until I've finished Up Close and Personal because I really don't have that much left. I'm like here. Um, so either when I pull up at work in a bit, I'm going to sit and read it. And when I get home later, I'm not allowed out of the car until I finish this book because I did really get into it last night and I was just far too tired. Um, saying that I'm going to listen to the audiobook of House Moving Castle to work and back and then when I get home I can finally start emergency contact I'm going to read all of that tonight and that is going to happen that is not a discussion in my head I have to read all of it tonight or this is not going to work at all sort of failing but sort of enjoying it anyway reading update so I've now finished Up Close and Personal by Leonie Fox uh, just to say it's four o'clock on Thursday should probably have started with that I did not force myself to sit in the car. That would have been a very awkward time, but I've read it. I gave it three stars. It wasn't good by any means. It was just an easy adult romance. So I wasn't bored, but it's not going to change the world. I have listened to a bit more of How's Moving Castle. I'm now on about page 213. I'm going to try and get it done tomorrow. So if I haven't finished it by the time I pull up on my drive, I'm going to read the physical book until I finish it. So that means I can now start Emergency Contact. This is quite a bit book, big book, but I've been told it's a very easy read. So I do want to sit and try and get this, um, get most of it read tonight, at least. Good evening. It is now 11 o'clock on Thursday night. I've got to call it a night. I am in bed 
as per usual, I am in the exact middle of a king size bed. Because who needs a side? Um, I've had to call it a night. I am 95 pages through emergency contact. So I feel like I've been reading for ages and I've barely made a dent. So this is going to be a difficult one. Um, my friend has called to make plans for tomorrow. My dad has made plans for Saturday. I have made plans for Sunday. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be filling any gaps I have with reading. Which is not a bad thing. But it does mean that like I'm very tired right now. And I really need to go to bed. But anyway. So maybe I'll actually try and vlog something more interesting tomorrow. Because we're all going around to my friend's house. And heading out in the evening so maybe I could get something maybe not I might look weird holding my phone out filming people but we will see I need to sleep this morning is so miserable like it's just horrible but I pulled up at a car park like half hour ago I read another 40 page to emergency contact so I'll be reading that later until I go out but it's just miserable this weather is absolutely vile like hold on look at this you can't even see the hills i mean it's focusing on the raindrops but you know what i mean like it's just fog and ugh. it's horrible hey another update it's about 10 o'clock on saturday i am picking one up from work um god this lighting is vile it's basically just the street lights um, I have finished Emergency Contact. I gave that five stars. Um, absolutely loved it. I want to buy my own like hardcover nice copy to keep now because I did read it from the library. Obviously, it's my borrowed book. Um, so yeah, I do want to buy my own copy of that now because I really, really did enjoy it. Um, How's Moving Castle? I think I have like 40 minutes left of the audiobook. So I do want to get that finished. I think I'm just going to have to listen to it every second I have now and just when I'm home put my headphones in and listen to it even getting ready for bed like tonight I think I might have to um the only thing I'm now going to attempt to pick up is The Lion Witch in the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis so I have um about 24 hours to read it and we have plans for tomorrow that are taking up the majority of our day so I do not think I'm going to read even half of it but if I sit up tomorrow night maybe I can but as long as I finish House Moving Castle, that is three books. So three books is fine, especially in a week. That's still impressive. Um, it's just the fact that it's a readathon, so you obviously want to read more than three. But three is fine. So we're now waiting for Will to close up shop so that I can go home and get my pyjamas, which I'm very much looking forward to doing today. Right, guys, it is Sunday night now. I'm talking quite quietly because it is really late. Um, um, but it's before midnight, so yeah. Anyway, so I've just finished How's Moving Castle. Um, I gave it four stars. I did really enjoy it, um, but I think some of it, just because of it being a middle grade, I did quite find hard to keep my attention on. So it did, did definitely help for me to be reading some of this audiobook, <laughs> some of this physically. Um, I wanted to get a good chunk of The Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe read, but turns out I only read 15 pages. So never mind. I completed three of the challenges i did um pompoco the wind rises and arietti and that's it but never mind i've done a lot of other things this week i've seen a lot of my family and friends so i'm fine with that but i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm sure there'll be another one soon and i'll see you then